My name is Tom Dowling uh, and I teach here and research in the School of Environment. I'm on the GI Science major, Geospatial Information Science. But what I really do is remote sensing. So I use everything from drones to satellites, aircraft, uh, to monitor our world, uh, be it the human or physical, and solve problems within it. I'm working across several projects at the moment, uh, all of which integrate the human and physical worlds, but in particular, I'm really interested in the maritime domain. Uh, in my previous role, uh, I was involved with uh, the sea quite a lot. Uh, so I'm bringing together the two things that I really love here, uh, which is the oceans and the seas uh, and remote sensing. So the two big projects that are coming out of that at the moment are detecting sewage, so raw sewage plumes that are released, which is a big problem here both in New Zealand and the UK. Uh, but then also how do we detect fishing vessels and various other kinds of vessels whilst they're at sea, particularly in areas of the world where we don't have very good satellite coverage. You've got great satellite coverage of places in Europe, for example, and North, North America. But here in New Zealand, there's fewer satellites measuring fewer things for a variety of reasons. Uh, so how can we exploit the data we do have to more effectively uh, monitor our environment in these two ways? Well, these projects are in very early stages at the moment. But what I'm really enjoying is bedding in here in New Zealand and finding out all the dimensions of the problem here. Um, so I've come from the UK, uh, as the accent may give away, uh, and it's really interesting how the different limitations we have here. So that, that data limitation thing is not one thing I've really faced before. And that's generating a whole kind of new research direction for me that I hadn't even thought about before I got here. So it's a really interesting way in which, whilst the technology that I use is completely global, you know, it's orbiting all the time, the location at which I'm sitting right now still matters. You know, it's that local to global scale geographies are important, it turns out. Uh, and yeah, learning and figuring out in my research how to overcome these issues is really interesting. So one thing I'd like others to know about my work is that it's something that has sometimes a bit of mystique about it in terms of, oh, it's space, it's hard, um, you need to be an amazing physicist or mathematician to do it. I mean, don't get me wrong, those skills help, but actually it's something that almost anybody can get value out of, particularly in terms of the downstream data. Uh, we have eyes in the sky, eyes in the space the whole time now, and that data is increasingly available to more and more people. Uh, you as an individual, the organisations you work for, your community uh, or the thing you're interested in can quite often have something useful or get actionable information out of this remote sensing data. Uh, I really just encourage people to uh, become aware, get a bit of basic education in it maybe, uh, and start to see how they can include this information in their own lives, their own projects uh, in a useful way. I think the final thing that I'd like to share um, is actually a slightly different project that I'm working on as well, uh, to do with orbital sustainable development. Uh, so I've been in this space for 10 years now, pardon the pun, um, and during that time, space has become increasingly uh, commercialized. We're now in the second golden space age, the commercial space age. Uh, but that brings with it issues around regulation, power, global power, uh, who's doing what, where, and the impacts that has on people who might not have a say in it. Uh, so something that we're starting, a new project that we're starting here, is looking at a sustainable development goal for space, uh, and I think that's a really exciting watch this space uh, moment. So that was me uh, and the research that I do. I hope you found that at least a little bit interesting. Do get in touch if you want to hear more, and don't forget to like and subscribe.